Hi everyone, it's Quickie Baby, and welcome back to World of Tanks. And this time of year is amongst the player base's favorite because Wargaming gets exceedingly generous. And I'm so ecstatic that the Will Deserve Reward is coming back in 2021. And from this Thursday, the 25th of November, in the morning, if you log into the game, then you are going to be getting a whole heap of awesome goodies. Just what kind of goodies we're going to be getting? Well, why don't we check out Wargaming's video that they just released an hour ago. These On videos... The of a very important event. Gee, yes! Give me the goods! Everything Give me the juice! Ready for the celebration. So this is Anton Pankov, who looks like he is still the daddy of World of Tanks right now, the guy in charge. So in theory, these gifts are coming from the very top. What have you got for us this year, Anton? It only needed final touches. Dear but player. Sometimes the smallest things are the most difficult to accomplish. True. And it's better to put them off till morning. Uh, I'm not sure about putting them off till uh, the morning. Usually best to get it done now, right? And not procrastinate. But we're seeing the kind of things that we are used to getting in the well deserved reward. So that's a good indication that it's going to be similar to last year. We've got credits crew training books, all of the medals that you get for the different number of years that you've played, um, and some beta badges as well, amongst other things. But let's see what's going to be in the box. What tank is it? What's the tank this year? Tell me, Anton. I'm always very impressed by Wargaming's production quality. They do do an exceedingly good job with that regard. Okay, let's pause for here for a second. So we see last year's tank, the T-52 on the left, and we see an empty portrait on the right. So I guess that's going to be filled out. I guess Anton's got to go to bed. You know, he's very tired trying to balance all of the tanks all the way through the year, right? Must be exhausting, right? Okay, so this is an interesting part of the video. So this now turns into a 10-minute section of um, a Ranzar cartoon. And I feel like if you're going to watch this, you might as well just watch this part on Wargaming's channel. The, the highlights are that, spoilers, we find out that the super chaffy and the T-52 and the Super Hellcat are going to add to their buddy, and there will be the VK-2801. So let's just watch the rest of the video, even though most of it was pretty much just like a fun cartoon, and there wasn't really too much to get from it. Is there anything else that we're going to be able to uh, figure out? Okay, so that's interesting. Why has uh, Anton got a book on his desk saying PVE and cars as well? I really hope that's a joke. Are they saying there are going to be more wheeled vehicles? At this point, maybe they're just trolling the community. PVE obviously standing for player versus enemy. For all of the people not in the lingo, think of it as in just bots, right? So I guess we're going to be playing against more AI. Although when you think about it, that has been quite a focus of Wargaming over the last few years. Maybe they've been using all of those events, the holiday events, in training up their algorithms and training up the the AI to be more efficient. Think about the Berlin event that we had, I think, a couple of years ago, and think about the last Waffenträger, and even what we just had with the Murni event as well. We're giving a really trying to push this PvE event idea during special times of the year. Maybe we're going to see uh, an addition to that in 2022. It sounds so weird saying that, but that's all I can manage to pick up so far. Thing about is but, oh, we saw the actual, um, the, the VK painting. <laughs> well, giving his production value is bang on with these videos. The thing about is celebration There's not is long the left on the video. Itself. I'm anxious. And we all have our own personal gift. Is that all we're going to be able to get this year? I, no, I'm not saying that it's not generous, but what I mean is that is that all we're going to be getting from the video this year? That, for me, is kind of alarming. Two or three years ago, we were able to figure out pretty much most of the events that would be coming for the, the subsequent year in World of Tanks. That hasn't arrived in this video. I guess this was more of just a, a fun video for the, uh, the Ranzar cartoons. And Wargaming finishes with a message to the players. Dear player, this reward is rightfully yours. Yes, we know that you won't play gift tanks very often. That's no problem. When the time comes and you want to refresh these memories of our heroes, we'll always be there. They'll do anything to make you happy. And so will we. The T-52, the M224, E2, Super Chaffee, the Super Hellcat, and the VK-2801 with the 105. 
Okay, so yeah, I have to admit, obviously the cartoon part was fun. I'm not so into that kind of stuff. I'm more into the actual goodies that we have coming in World of Tanks, and that's what I'm going to be focusing on today's video. And we find out that yes, Wargaming is going to be truly generous this year. If you're a veteran World of Tanks player, and you haven't even logged into the game in many, many, many years, you will get four reward vehicles added to your garage with 100% crews that you could then move into other vehicles or just keep them in this tank if that's what you want and just take a look at the goodies. If you're a beta player or you've been playing for 10 years, you're going to get yourself 3,000 bonds, 1.5 million credits, three days of premium, 30 hours of 50% extra credits. You can get yourself three universal training manuals. That's enough to take a crew to having brothers in arms, a personal training manual, which will take a a commander or any, any individual crew member up to about three skills on a vehicle. You're also going to get yourself 30 hours of 50% extra credits, 35 times experience missions, which you can use in any vehicle you want. That's amazing if you want to be able to unlock field mods for your tier 10 tanks or any tanks. Really invest those into your tier 10 field mod vehicles and you can manage to do an entire field mod in a, in a single session of play or when i say an entire field mod you could do an entire tier 10 tank in a single session of play if you're if you're lucky i guess in winning a few of your games and everyone's going to be getting a veteran tanker or sorry every all the beta players and the the people who've been playing for 10 years are going to get a veteran tank uh tanker special style now the rewards get a little bit worse and worse and worse as you go down. And rather than just showing what the rewards are going to be for all of the individual players, in true Quacky Baby fashion, I've put it up onto the Mother of Excel spreadsheets. Now, let me just guide you around this. Firstly, I want to talk about the differences between the rewards last year, the maximum rewards last year, and the rewards this year. So in 2020, the rewards were identical but you've got twice as many credits and you've got a thousand extra bonds. Now, before all of you start to say, oh, Wargaming are being less generous, they're giving us less credits and they're giving us less bonds. No, because there's a whole new system in play called Player Seniority Awards. That's possibly like one of the least exciting terms that I've ever heard in my life. But the rewards themselves are actually pretty exciting. So how does this work? So apparently when you log in the game this Thursday, they say the 25th, is that really this Thursday? Yes, it is. God, I, I, I don't even know what day of the week it is. This Thursday, the 25th of November, then you're going to be given tokens depending on how long you've played. For every year that you've played, and the beta includes as a year, then you're going to get yourself up to 11 tokens. And then you can spend these tokens on rewards and you can find a list of all of the rewards on Wargaming's homepage. But let me break it down for you. So firstly, you could change six tokens for a piece of, I presume, bond equipment, venting system, stabilizing equipment system, innovative loading system, yada, yada, yada. Or alternatively, you could change the tokens individually for 500 bonds. Now, that seems like a much better deal to buy a piece of bond equipment when you think about it, because a venting system, I believe, is usually 5,000 bonds. But if you were to spend the tokens on the more bonds bundle, you'd only get 500 bonds for them. So it's definitely worth, if you really want bond equipment, to maybe consider spending your tokens there. There are also five different 3D styles that you can manage to get, but it's going to cost you six tokens per style. However, they are pretty cool. This is the one for the 50B, the STRV-103B, the IS-3. This is the um, the old school T-30 that they awarded for completing a series of, of tricky missions, I believe, in 2020. And you could even get something that was only available inside the black market for the Object 261. Personally, for me, six tokens, I'd probably rather have a piece of bond equipment to be more competitive, but I understand the players out there who don't really care about that kind of thing and just want to have a little bit of fun. And maybe you're going to look the part in your STRV 103B or your 50B. There's also the option to exchange three tokens for a universal crew member with zero skill. So that means that they get Brothers in Arms for free and you can make them any crew member that you want. Quite expensive though, three tokens, I feel. I really don't think that two crew members are worth um, one piece of bond equipment 
However, you can always grind bonds, but you can't grind crew members outside of special events. You can also spend one token on a unique 2D style, some emblems, and some six well-earned inscriptions. You can change tokens for 500 bonds. You can also change one token for three personal reserves for five plus 50% credits for an hour. I, while I know that the credit boosters are so useful, I think that's actually a bad deal. At most, you're probably going to end up getting 1.5 million credits, I'd say, and that's if you're a very good player playing tier 8 premium tanks and having really good games for each of those three hours that the token will be exchanged for. But I would personally rather get the bonds because you can't grind 500 bonds in three hours, that's for sure. Alternatively, you could change one token for 300,000 credits. I personally think that would be a terrible idea compared to buying the credit boosters, running a premium account and playing a premium tank. Or alternatively, you could exchange a token for two days of what premium. And remember, you don't have to spend all of your tokens all at once. You have until November 2022. Oh, I've got to stop saying that. Um, and so, in theory, you could exchange the tokens throughout the year to be able to get up to 22 days of premium, which is pretty nice. And maybe at the start of a weekend when you have a lot of time to be able to play World of Tanks. So that's pretty cool it's for all you free-to-play players out there. Final mention should be made to that you can't spend all of your tokens in um, a single area. So if you thought that you could go and just spend your 11 tokens on being able to get 5,500 bonds, that is not the case. You can only purchase bonds three times, you can only purchase credits three times, you can purchase premium account five times. So I guess what I said about being able to purchase premium time all the way through the year, that's not going to be possible, but you can still do it five times. And personally for me, I'm going to invest in one piece of bond equipment and then I'll probably invest in more bonds for my tank. So I can either purchase more pieces of equipment or possibly have bonds in case Wargaming start to add more things to the shop that I can purchase with them. And a final mention should be made that you can't save tokens for next year and then purchase more things next year. You're going to have to spend them before November 2022. So this means that Wargaming are actually being more generous in 2021 than they were in 2020 because you could easily purchase enough credits and bonds with the tokens that you receive to achieve more than you received last year. So Wargaming a massive thank you to you for this crazy gift that you give to the players each year. It's actually really generous with what you think that you can get if you've been playing the game for a while. Just the fact that they're giving so many credit boosters alone, that is millions and millions and millions of credits if you invest them wisely, either when you're playing frontline or alternatively when you're just grinding your premium tanks in the random queue. And also the credit boosters stack usually with the credit bonus that you can get from the advent a calendar event. So make sure that you um, that you use those wisely because credits just feel as if they're so important to have in World of Tanks. They make you more competitive in every single area with the gold rounds for credits, I guess, and with premium consumables, or if you just want to purchase something funky in the black market. So that itself is really generous. And to add on the bonds, the credits, and the training manuals that everybody's going to be able to get, in addition to the premium time, yeah, it gets a big thumbs up from me. And I think this new token system is a good idea as the game really extends into ridiculous proportions with how long some people have been playing it, trying to find ways to give individual players what they want when lots of different players want different things from the game can become increasingly tricky. And by creating a shop specifically for the well-deserved reward, that will enable you to be able to purchase the things that you want. So big thumbs up from me, Wargaming. You're being incredibly generous and you're also enabling us to purchase things that we're actually interested in rather than just bundling random things together. So let's talk about some of the heartbreak cutoff periods. One of the things that's really nice about uh, World of Tanks and the Well Deserved Reward is that they aren't extending the, the cutoff period for where you get the tanks. Yep, that's right. If all of you were thinking that you were going to be able to just log in and everyone, even if you just started playing the game yesterday, was going to have four shiny tanks inside your garage, that's just not going to be the case. Because unfortunately, the cutoff point this year is going to be 
people who registered before the 1st of January 2018. And guess when I registered my free-to-play account? At the end of 2018, which means that I have been playing on my free-to-play account for three years, and so I'm not going to have those four tanks. However, that also means that if Wargaming continue to do this, and I see no reason as to why they won't, unless I'm not playing the game in a year, then I will get the well-deserved reward on my free-to-play account next year instead. And unfortunately, that is the cutoff date this year. So let me know in the comments down below if you registered your account in January 2018 and you're absolutely heartbroken that you won't be able to get these vehicles. But I guess at least you know a date where you're pretty much going to be getting these tanks and another one as well. And I'd also like to give a final passing mention that if any of you out here have not logged into the game in a year or two and you're thinking about starting again over the Christmas period, then it's not too late to be able to log in and receive the well-deserved reward from last year. So in theory, if you haven't played World of Tanks in an incredibly long time, i.e. November the 26th, 2020, if you were to log in before November the 24th at 5 a.m., so i.e. if you log in today or tomorrow, you'll receive all of that year's well-deserved reward and then if you were to log in again from this Thursday, you would receive all of that well-deserved reward. And so if for some reason you've been playing since the beta, you would literally get yourself 7,000 bonds, four and a half million credits, and you'd have the 11 tokens to be able to purchase way, way, way more. And that's enough to pretty much buy yourself a, a tier nine tank, as well as also getting a 13 days of premium and um, 60... 50% credit boosters as well. So all in all, it looks like Wargaming are keeping their cards a little bit more close to their chest this year. Maybe we'll have a subsequent video released on their YouTube channel, which will give more of an idea as to what we have coming up. But there's one thing for certain uh, that hasn't changed, and that is Wargaming are continuing a very generous tradition. And as far as I'm concerned, this marks off the holiday period. It's always such an exciting time for World of Tanks and I can't wait to be a part of it. And make sure you stay tuned to the channel for the developments in World of Tanks over this period and also tomorrow I will have a full tank review of the VK2801 with the 105mm. And so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's it for today. Let me know what you think about this year's well-deserved reward in the comments down below. Are you looking forward to getting your hands on the VK2801 with the 105 millimeter? Or are you just looking forward to casually logging in and getting more or less for most players, at least a million credits and getting a load of tokens to be able to spend inside this new seniority awards store? And what are you going to purchase? What do you think is the best thing to be able to purchase for your tokens? What, what are you interested in? And as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.